see how loud you get. One, two, three. Now let's bring the man who's going to bring the message. Y'all give a round of applause to BG himself, Mr. Brooks. Take a seat, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. For Washington High School, how y'all doing? Good, 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 good. A lot of individuals will call me motivational speakers. Uh -uh. I'm not a motivational speaker because I truly believe that motivation starts and then it runs off. Everybody was motivated January 1. I'm working out. I'm about to hit all my resolutions. And then January 3rd, they're back in the ice cream aisle. And they're struggling because the motivation has wear off. I want to drop a seed of encouragement that we become inspired students. And one of my favorite words is inspiration because inspiration is believing in yourself, helping others believe in themselves even when they feel like they can't do it. So today, I wanna to break down the word inspired, I-N-S-P-I-R-E-D. Y'all didn't know that was an acronym, did you? Individuals needing spiritual power in real everyday dilemmas. Now let me do a post, let me do a post right now because I want to see uh, where we're in the room. If you feel like this word resonates with you, I just want you to simply stand up. If you are overwhelmed, stand up. Students and parents, students and teachers and educators, they all do it. All right, all right, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. If you are overworked, stand up. Okay, okay, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. A lot of individuals are feeling stressed. I am here today because we are all in this together. Each and every one of you all are unique. You all have a story. You all have experiences. You all have a background that not just poor Washington needs, but the world needs. I need, Uncle Rick needs, Own It needs, your teachers needs. They need you in the space, not so that they can tap themselves on the back, but because each and every one of you all has purpose. See, I was pissed when everybody in school thought who I was. They had labels for me. Oh, he was the, he was the angry guy. He's the, he's the kid that likes to fight. He's the kid that likes to get kicked out of the class. He's the one that's not gonna be nobody in the future. He's not gonna accomplish nothing. He's gonna be dead by 20. He has no focus. But throughout it all, when you understand your purpose, when you understand that you have a voice, when you understand that you have a message, I, I get inspired when I think about the Red Gen students because every day they choose to be bold. They choose to trust not only in themselves but in their friends that they know that their story matters. So if there's one thing that I want you to remember today that it's okay to not be okay. It is okay to not be okay. And when you start from that foundation, you are 10 steps ahead going towards success. My story, my message, my voice was found when I went into the mental health complex. How can I get back at my parents who stressing me out so much? And when I, on Easter Sunday, I'll never forget this, in 2010, we had coaches from all over the country coming to see me play, coming to see to give me a scholarship. But that weekend, I was stressed out. And my mom and my dad was arguing so much, but they were using me. Hey, Brooks, go tell your daddy this. Well, you tell your mama this. Well, tell your daddy this. Well, tell your mama this. And I was just lost till I realized that nobody was truly listening to me. So what I chose to do was to get the biggest knife out the kitchen and to shove it in my stomach. To wake my mom up before she could see the pain that I was feeling because she wasn't listening to the words. I realized is that I never used my words, I only used my emotions. And I never took ownership, I never took a, a, a responsibility, I never took accountability for my happiness, for my success, and my well-being. But guess what? When I was in that mental health complex, I met a friend, y'all. But a friend named Bob. And as soon as I got in there, Bob showed me a magic trick. But while I was learning this magic trick as a young 16-year-old in the mental health complex that thought that his dream was over, that, that thought that how could he let down his basketball team? How could he let down these coaches that travel all across the country just to see me play? How would they know that I'm in a hospital getting help? Bob told me that it's okay to not be okay. And when I realized that Bob was in there for five, five years and I was only in there for five minutes and ready to get out, I got a friend that helped me to understand that it is okay to not be okay. Well, what does this have to do with procrastination, Brooks? See, I put off asking for help 
I put off asking for asking help from my teachers. I put off for talking to Uncle Rick. I put off not talking to my mom. I put off not journaling. I put off not listening to the class because I was so filled with hurt and pain that nobody was by my side. Let me reassure each and every one of you that are in this space today that you are not alone. And if you, if you think that you're alone, if I ask the question again, who's stressed out in this place? Everybody will raise their hand. We've all came through a pandemic. We've all came through situations where we all are facing stressors on a day-to-day -day basis. But I believe stress is the best setup for success. It's truly ourselves that have to believe in ourselves in the first place. It's easy for me to put off what I need to focus on. But if we are focused on changing the future, if we are focused on building up the culture here at Port Washington High School, then we should be able to break the cycle with the power that you have. Uh, if you feel like you're powerless right now and there's friends, there's family members, there's people that's taking the power from you, just keep living. But always tell yourself that I am the MVP. We can mentor each other. You can shine a light. You can make someone smile. You can be that hope. See that teacher that told me, uh, Bricks, you talk too much. You always try to make people laugh. Well, now I'm doing it for a living. Did she believe in me? I don't know. Did I hear her say, Brooks, you can inspire young people, you can inspire teachers, you can inspire parents for life? No, but it was only because I didn't take ownership. I didn't take accountability of what I was going through, but I also didn't have somebody that said, Brooks, I believe in you. Brooks, I love you. Brooks, you're going to make it. So without further ado, I'm just going to bring up my mentor. Let's put your hands together for Rick, Uncle Rick Paul. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, Did y'all hear Brooks' message on yeah. mental health? It's real serious. I was standing over there, Brooks, and I was looking at the audience. And I was paying attention who was paying attention. This is so serious. If you're not going through it now, just keep living. But he's up here giving you tools. So we'll help you prepare, but get ready. What we find out is a lot of y'all stay closed off and inside because y'all think don't nobody care. But I have to say this, we can't care if we don't know. And today is a day that you have to start opening up to somebody. Now do me a favor while you're sitting. Look to your left, look to your right, look behind you and look in front of you. And when I say that, it is somebody in this auditorium today that's going through something. And when we had the meeting this morning, I was blessed and fortunate to be in there because they share. Who do you have to share with? Did you hear Brooks say, a mentor needs a mentor? It's over 800 students in here. 800 and, 808 students in here. And I'm, I'm asking you, I'm almost begging you, talk to somebody when you're in pain. You really want to conquer procrastination today. If you really want to tell yourself, you know what, I'm done procrastinating. When I got my to-do list, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to knock it out. When I got my goals, I'm going to plan out my three month, my six month, my one year, my three year, my five year, my 10 year, my 15 year, my 20 year. Be a leader that's here to inspire. The best way to inspire is to share my story, to share your story.